Planet Zoo has been rated E10 plus by the ESRB for crude humor, mild blood, and mild violence. It is generally suitable for people aged 10 years and up. Hey there folks, welcome back to the Treasure Coast Wildlife Park. I'm Jack, as you know. Nice to hear from you. So what we're doing today is something that's very special to me, and I may actually get emotional talking about it. What I'm adding today is the Pearl Butler Memorial Butterfly Garden. My grandmother, Pearl Butler, whom I lost about 10 years ago, was an inspiration for so much of my life. She was, like me, she was a chef. And she ran her own restaurants. And she was a huge inspiration for most of my life. She was the one who told me I could do it. She was the one who taught me the basics. She was the one who, you know, made me into the chef I became. And the last thing she said to me before she died, our last time talking, it was, I had taken her to um, the Flower and Garden Festival at Epcot Center, which is an annual festival. She loved going to those. She loved going to those. She liked looking at the flowers. But her favorite part of going to uh, the Flower and Garden Festival was the butterfly tents. They would set up butterfly tents, and you'd go in, and the butterflies would be flying free, and there'd be flowers all over the place. And uh, Anyway, um, she loved going to those. And I took her to... The flower, the flower and Garden Festival. And she didn't have the energy to do all of it because at that point she was already fighting cancer. And, uh, but she did as much as she could. We went around the park as much as we could. And finally she, she decided she wanted some ice cream. So I stopped off and I got her some ice cream. And we were both enjoying our ice cream under a tree and just sitting there and talking, watching the world go by us. And out of nowhere, she leaned over to me and patted me on the arm. And she said, she said, you are a much better chef than I ever was. And uh, I just grinned at her and said, I can't understand how you could possibly think that because you're amazing. And she says, no, you're, you were better than I am. And now I'm crying. Sorry about that, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, I really loved her. And in tribute to her, I'm going to build a butterfly garden. And I'm going to put it right here, which is where we're hovering over this. And uh, anyway, I'm going to turn it over to speed build. Shouldn't take that long. But I will... Uh, I'll talk to you about it in, you know, once we're done with the speed build. See you in a minute. Hum.
Okay, so this is the Pearl Butler Memorial Butterfly Garden. And I have to explain about the picture. This is my grandmother, Pearl Butler. This was taken about a year before she died. I will not lie, the woman had an amazing sense of humor and she was not afraid to make herself look ridiculous if it made other people happy. We were again at Epcot Center and we're in the Mexican pavilion having a snack and she sees this big tall stack of straw sombreros and they look ridiculous because they're huge and she's like oh let me go try one of those and I was like you want to try on one of those hats and she goes yeah I want to try one of those on and so she put it on and she said take a picture so I took a picture I ended up buying her the hat and she kept it until the day that she died as far as I know I miss her. I miss her so much. I really do. Anyway, um, yeah, this was my grandmother. This was, this was, uh, and she was a saint. She was a saint. She never met a stranger. You know, despite growing up in the South in the 1920s, never had a prejudiced bone in her body. She, a kind word for everybody. Everybody. And like I said, she supported me in my career choices. So anyway, folks, let me know what you think in the uh, comments below. Next episode, we're going to do, do the chimpanzees. And I'm going to be putting them over here somewhere. Let's see if I can't find something here. Anyway, uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Okay, folks, that'll do it for this session of Planet Zoo. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want to say something to me, anything at all, please make a comment down below. Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. As old and as true as the sky The forest protected shall prosper The forest neglected shall die You've an aptitude to change attitudes Cause we have to prove it That's right to grab your shovel There's work to do, the world's in trouble You gotta build a zoo